today, everybody's oh, happy. Oh, look at all those smiling faces. And one could win a fortune. Who will it be? Find out by 30 today. Rainbow proudly presents the magic of Disney classics. All your favorite songs and soundtracks on music cassette at $6.99. Fantasia, The Little Mermaid, The Rescuers, Pinocchio. And on CD at $11.99, Fantasia, Mary Poppins, Winnie the Pooh, The Little Mermaid, and many more. Disney Storytellers at $6.99 makes learning fun. Each storyteller comes with a book and cassette. The Prince and the Pauper, The Little Mermaid, Rescuers Down Under, Lady and the Tramp, The Jungle Book, and heaps more. Look for the Disney Castle in these stores from Rainbow. Sunblessed Olympic Megabucks is on. Win instant cash. Go for gold. That's a thousand bucks instantly. Go the distance for ten thousand bucks cash. Or go for the Olympic trip. Whichever way you play, you help our team. Go on, you Details on Tip Top Sunblessed, the official bread for our team. Good on your mum. Tip Top's the one. Good on your mum. Before I set you free, you must kiss me, said the flea. Read on, read on. Bring water to the boil, add the noodles and the oil. Read on, my dear, read on. In less than half an hour, we had climbed the leaning tower. Read on, read on. The alien replied, we are going for a ride. Read on, my dear, read on. Whichever way you look, life's better with a book. Read on, read on. Olympiad, Barcelona 1992, July 25th to August 9th, live and exclusive to Sabah. Presenting the Olympics, Tucker Bag, we'll look out for you. Dear Pen Paolo Donny, boy, am I glad I found out you're a guy. Now I can tell you all kinds of stuff that I wouldn't tell a girl. I'm in the fourth grade and four feet, five inches, almost. And even if I haven't catched my first wildebeest yet, I have wiped out 4,000 aliens in Space Invaders. <laughs> you asked about my family, so here goes. I live in the village of Mayfield in a pretty nice hut with my grandma, my brother Kip, and my dad, who people call the beaver. I don't know why. <laughs> I guess you could say in our tribe, Grandma is the chief. My mom doesn't live with us anymore, so Grandma pinch hits. She's real good at noticing things that aren't quite right, like when my fingernails are dirty, or when I tried to paint pinstripes on my dad's car. But nobody had a better costume than I did on Halloween. And she sure knows how to make a guy feel good. Just baked you some victory cookies. No time, Grandma. I gotta get back out there and collect some more papers. But the paper drive's over. I know. But I'm gonna get a head start for next year so no one will catch me. Especially that lizard, Melissa. Oliver, you know there are other challenges in life besides the paper drive. Like what? Well, like school and sports, scouting. Yeah, but there's none that I'm gonna be as good at. But if you put even half the effort that you put toward that paper drive into anything else, I know you'd do very well. You really think so? Well, you never know unless you try. Mm, Grandma, those cookies sure smell good. Well, that's what I just said. You'll never know unless you try. tell you about my dad. He's different than my friend's dad's. And even though we don't hunt boars so much anymore, we watch cartoons together. And he's never too busy to do something with me. Don't worry, Oliver. It'll fly this time. Dad, can you come outside now? 
Well, I'll be busy in a minute. I'm talking to your brother right now. In the shower? I'll be out in a few minutes. But, Dad! In a minute, son. <laughs> Dad, I'm really glad you're going to be helping the team. Ah, uh, thanks, Kip. You know, this may sound dumb, but when you get to be my age, well, there's not much father-son stuff a guy can do without your friends thinking you're going soft on them. Are you guys done yet? Okay, Ollie. We can play now. No time for that, Dad. You see, I was getting my lunchbox out of your car because I left half a Twinkie in it, and uh, the next thing I knew, it kind of rolled into the street. Well, I hope you didn't eat it. Uh, no, Dad. Not the Twinkie. Your car. <laughs> <laughs> Then there's my brother, Kip. You know how older brothers just beat on you and don't let you touch any of their junk? Well, Kip does that too. But sometimes he can be a real neat guy. Oh, quick, get up! Come on, get up! Come no, on. no! Don't let the wiki ones get me! No! Oh. I was dreaming I was back at our Aunt Martha's 90th birthday party. <laughs> Quick, get up. Wait till you hear this. I got the best news in the world. Freddie Haskell's moving? <laughs> Better. Uh, they lowered the driving age to nine. Come on, get up. I can't. I'm not wearing any bottoms. <laughs> it's okay. We're brothers. Oh. <laughs> Hey, what's that behind your ears? Probably just dirt. No. Two tickets to the grand opening of Miracle Mountain. Yeah, hooray! We almost have as much fun as when you and your dad tie those vines to your feet and dive off that tower. The rest of the family lives in the next hut. First, there's my Uncle Wally. He's my dad's big brother. I'm stronger than he is. Dad and Uncle Wally are just like Batman and Robin. They're always together. You know, like those two guys you have in your country. Congo Man and Umblop. Negative side of battery. Great. Ow. Uncle Wally and Aunt Mary Ellen have known each other for a long time. But they got married anyway. I never really noticed you until you came back from that spring vacation in Fort Lauderdale. Oh. You were all tan, wearing that little white dress with a little peel on your shoulders. <laughs> well, they didn't have any moisturizer then. <laughs> I remember. I saw you standing here right next to your locker. You were opening it, and I just stared, stared. I remember thinking, that is the most beautiful girl I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, honey. You know, I bet I even remember the combination to your locker. <laughs> Do you really? Yeah. Well, there are some things a man never forgets. <laughs> well, I guess once in love, always in love. Was there ever any doubt? You've just opened Julie Foster's old locker. <laughs> My cousin Kelly is my friend, even though she's a girl. She may be strong, but she sure gets some goofy ideas. Like when she thought her parents were getting a divorce. Kelly, where'd you get that towel? Oh, some lady in the bathroom was handing them out. <laughs> oh, excuse me, uh, are you our waiter? Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> They're, uh, very busy here. Well, what looks good to you, honey? Oh, I don't know. Maybe we should have the family special. Why bother? <laughs> oh, oh uh, excuse me. We're, uh, ready to order now. Good. <laughs> Look at her all dressed up. She's such a big girl. Yep. She's our big girl, all right. Our big girl. In fact, you're such a big girl that we can talk to you about anything now. Because you're such a big girl. 
I'll be right there. Are you all right? No, you're getting a divorce. That's what you dragged me here to tell me. Please stay together, please. A divorce? No. Now, Kelly, don't... No. Kelly, honey, we brought you here to tell you that we're going to have a baby. Yeah. A baby? And a divorce? How many lives can you ruin? Real dumb, huh? And after that, she ran away from home, but I talked her into going back. I just want you both to know that it's all right with me if you have that baby. I think we can make it work now. I love you both. Good night, baby. I can't wait to meet you. On the Generation Game, contestants are in a real spin. With more on their plates than ever, the Generation Game, 7.30, Saturday on 7. I gotcha! Uh -huh. There's no ahas about it. This is an album you must have. The best of 91, and it's all Australian with Jimmy Barnes and Noiseworks. keep it hot for me. You're the Indie. Daryl Braithwaite. The best of 91, Kylie, John Farnham, Southern Sons, Baby Animals, Maybe Dolls. The best of 91, all Australian artists, get it now. I want some action and I want some fun. Want to get out and be number one. I'll swing through the trees like Indiana too. With scouts, there's nothing that I can't do. Cause I want some action, yeah, real satisfaction Something out of the ordinary So look out, world, cause here we come now The Scouts and me You know, the best way to pick perfect fruit is by squeezing it Take this cottage fruit snack Give it a little squeeze And you know it's perfect This new cottage fruit wobbler Ready to eat jelly. Mmm. This new ice fruit crusher. Delicious. You can take it from me. I've got the best squeeze in the business. Cotty's kids know real fruit when they squeeze it. Hey, are you going to buy that? It's macho, it's tough. I love it. I hate it. A new image for Jesse on Full House. It's me. Then Dinosaurs, Sunday on 7. The scene-by-scene -scene make a draw is happening. So grab your Sunday Herald Sun's TV Extra magazine for entry details and watch Home and Away weeknights. Hey, another score for the kid. Come on, Freddy. Let me go out for a pass. I wish I could, Spud. But the sheer velocity of one of my passes would stunt your growth. <laughs> Come on. He's having a rough time at home. So lay off. Huh, Freddy? Yeah, lay off me, Freddy. Down, Fido. Look, it's not that I don't feel for you, kid, but you gotta stand up for yourself. If my old man gave me any guff, I'd... Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, hello, son. <laughs> well, if it isn't the cleaver brood. Hey, I see your dad's still giving you haircuts at home. Next time, tell him to turn on the light. <laughs> Good morning, Mrs. Cleaver. Dolly. And might I say, that's a lovely oven mitt you're wearing. Oh, good morning, Mrs. Cleaver. That's a very becoming robe you have on. Some things never go out of style. Thank you, Eddie. Good afternoon, Mrs. Cleaver. My, that's a lovely... T Why, Mrs. Cleaver, I do believe you're wearing slacks, and I must say they do become you. Eddie. Yes, Mrs. Cleaver. Put a sock in it. Oh, good morning, Mrs. Cleaver. My, what a lovely... Why, that certainly is a handsome outfit you're wearing. Oh. <laughs> Well, it's, it's my Father's Day present. You know how it is. I've got to wear it at least once just so they don't think they totally wasted their money. Nonetheless, certainly does become you. Well, sir, it's nearly post time. Frederick, my boy, I must say, I haven't seen you look this good since that day at juvenile court. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You know, you remind me a lot of myself at your age. Except, of course, I was better looking. <laughs> So you've told me. When you get to be my age, you'll learn something about women. And on this night of your first date, I'm going to pass these secrets along to you. That's very generous of you, sir. Son, 
women are all a bunch of bloodsuckers out to get whatever they can. And when they've used you up, they'll toss you aside like an old sock. <laughs> now you run along and have a good time. My dad's always telling me never to trust a Haskell. I wish I listened better. See? I told you it'd work. What are you doing? Eh, keep your shirt on. I got you. Ready? Come on, stop it. Where are you going? Yeah, I'm taking you over to my house. My dad's been bugging me to clean out the rain gutters. Oh, come on, Sonny. Get me down. Well, all right. But you got no sense of humor. A bee! A bee! Freddy! Freddy! Freddy, get me down! Stop horsing around, kid! Sometimes a guy gets into messes that he can't even blame on a Haskell. Hey, I just caught the news on my CD radio. So you get locked in there, be the ex-wife? <laughs> Come out with your hands up. This is your last warning. You have 60 seconds to surrender. Serving breakfast and shifts. Jelly in the fridge? Uh-huh. Dad. I was wondering. Are uh, tarantulas poisonous? Some are, some aren't. But what about the one on Aunt Mary Ellen's back? <laughs> After all the time that Eddie Haskell has manipulated you, misled you, taken advantage of your good natures, Beaver, wouldn't you once just like to button that Eddie Haskell's lip? More than anything. Well, then start acting like Ward Cleaver's boys and get out there and kick their fanny. of mess you get into, there's always someone there who understands. I want you to take a good look at yourself. You know, if we're all... I take your hands away from your nose. Come on, open your eyes. You know, if we're only looking for imperfections in ourselves, we're surely gonna find them. You know something? 
I hate to be the one to break this to you. But honey, you're a knockout. Nah. Really? Mm-hmm. Just look at those high cheekbones. You get those from my side of the family. I never saw them before. Well, all the top actresses have them. But none of them have eyes like yours. They open and close good, too. <laughs> I'll bet you'd just be stunning in that costume. Let's go put it on. Here's your cut. Oh, what a pretty petticoat. I picked it out myself. Oh, you did? Uh-huh. There. Will you put your hair up? Uh-huh. What a lovely dress this is. At least it'll hide my knobby knees. Well, that's an advantage. <laughs> Come on, let's go take a look. I still got a neck like a stack of dimes. Well, so did Cleopatra. And Audrey Hepburn. And even your grandmother. Look, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Put your hair up. See? You know, Grandma, you're right. I am a knockout. Yes, you are. And it's not just because of the way you look, either. It's because of who you are. It's your sweetness and your curiosity and your sense of humor. That's what's gonna knock that audience right off their feet tonight. Thanks, Grandma, for always being there when I need you. Oh, I love you, Kelly. Hi, Dad. It's me, your son, Oliver Cleaver. And the reason I'm doing this is because you got a right to know what kind of a rat your kid is. Because only a real rat wouldn't come up with a gift for his dad on Father's Day. It's not like he didn't have a chance or anything. Grandma lent me the money, and I blew it all on junk, like ice cream. And this. Pretty dumb, huh? I didn't know what a rat I was, so I saw you staring at that picture of you and Grandpa. And that made me think of you and how you always share your fries with me at McDonald's. And how you always call me champ, even though I hardly never won nothing. And that whole Saturday you spent looking for four-leaf clover. And when we come home at night, I always pretend to fall asleep in the car. Because nothing feels nicer than when you carry me upstairs and put me into bed. And, Dad, even though I did goof up, can we still be friends? Because I sure love you a lot. Okay? Your son, Oliver Cleaver. And the reason I'm doing this is because you got a right. the Rutherfords. They're a real bunch of head cases. You know, pen pal, I think I got the bestest family in the whole world. Because we help each other and love each other, and there's always good stuff to eat in the icebox. 
right real soon. Your Kambada Kamala, Oliver Cleaver, USA. <laughs> Hey kids, don't go away. That little furball aggro is coming up next on 7 with the Cartoon Connection. Sunday night, the newest, funniest and biggest TV show in the whole world. The smash hit Dinosaurs. This week, Earl attempts to rekindle the flame in his marriage to Fran when it appears that his wife has had enough of family life. And with the new baby waking her all hours of the day and night, plus Earl and the kids expecting to be waited on paw and claw, it's enough to drive any dinosaur back to the Ice Ages. Without doubt, the best new comedy in centuries. Dinosaurs, 8 o'clock Sunday, here on 7.